Apple just released iOS 16.1 beta 2. And in this video, we're going to talk about everything new in the software along with what to expect next. Now, in addition to this iOS release, Apple also released iPad OS 16.1 beta 3, Mac OS Ventura beta 8, watchOS 9.1 beta 2, tvOS 16.1 beta 2, and HomePod OS 16.1 beta 2. Now as far as the size goes, you can see here on my iPhone 14 Pro Max, it came in at 5.25 gigabytes, even though I was already on 16.1 beta 1, which is pretty strange, but that size should be smaller for you if you're not on the 14 series. Now let's check out the build number for this new update. So if you go to our settings, general about 16.1, we can see the new build number here is 20B5050F. So we do have an F at the end of the build number, which indicates we still have at least a couple more betas to go before the final release. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 16.1 beta 2? And the first thing, you may have to look a little close, but look up in the status bar and you will notice that now the graphic of the battery dynamically changes along with the percentage of battery remaining. So I'm at 89% battery and you can see the battery icon also shows the battery is losing a little bit of juice and not just the number changing and just for comparison you can see on the left is how it was before it would just show a full battery but the numbers would change in there indicating how much battery you had left until it got down to 20 percent and then the icon would change but now it changes all the way from 99 percent all the way down to one percent so i love this change and i'm glad apple actually listened and also that font in the battery icon up there appears to be larger as well so it looks bolder and just a little bit bigger than it did previously we also have a change on the lock screen so now when you plug in your phone to charge it will actually show your battery percentage right above the time so before for whatever reason it would only show the date and your widgets up there but now it actually shows the battery percentage and just for reference here's ios 16.1 beta 1. so when we plug our phone in and we tap right here you can see that after the charging animation goes away it does not show the battery percentage at all even before we go to the always on display it would always just show the widgets that are up there above the time however i do wish that that battery percentage showed on the always on display and so i didn't have to have like these widgets right here to show me how much battery I have remaining. Now, easily the most annoying bug in iOS 16.1 was the copy and paste bug. So I just copied something from Twitter. Now I'm gonna go into my notes and I'm going to attempt to paste it, but you could see right here, I get this pop-up that says, notes would like to paste from Twitter. Do you want to allow this? And every single time you wanted to copy or paste something in 16.1 beta one, you would have to hit on allow paste. Even if you just went back and did the same thing over again. So I'm just gonna go back here and try to copy something. So we'll just copy that. We're gonna go back and attempt to paste it again. And you can see I get that prompt again, even though I just pasted it in there. So Apple did acknowledge that was a bug earlier this week, and now they have addressed it here in beta two. So I just copied something and you could see in messages, for example, I can paste it and there is no prompt if I want to paste that or not. Now I can do the same thing here in notes. So I just copied something and now paste, and you can see I don't get that prompt anymore. So thankfully the copy and paste bug has been fixed. The GPS bug has also been addressed. So you can see I have beta one on the left, beta two over here on the right. Both phones are facing the exact same direction and the same exact location, but you can see we have a completely different degree there on beta one and beta two is accurate. So there was a major GPS bug in iOS 16.1 beta one that would prevent maps from working properly or any other third party app from working properly. So if you're trying to get to a destination, whether you're walking or driving, you probably had issues. And that's a reason why you should always use a secondary device for beta testing, because an issue like that could be, you know, dangerous, especially if you're out and about and you're lost, your phone's not going to be reliable and tell you where to go properly. So thankfully that GPS bug has also been addressed here in beta two. And for the 14 series, we do also have a cool little animation up there when you charge your device on 16.1 and also now when you go into landscape mode so if I go into my Safari here and turn off the rotation lock and I go into landscape mode take a look at the icon over here the little glyph animation on the left hand side that shows the battery percentage that is really cool that is a new animation I just noticed here in iOS 16.1 reachability support has been added for the dynamic island devices so if you have a 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max and you invoke reachability you will see that you get the dynamic island right here down at the bottom before on iOS 16 it would just stay up here you would not get a second 
little dynamic island down here you would still have to reach which kind of defeated the whole purpose also in the shortcuts application we have a new action for get current focus so this is a new one that's going to just pull in your currently active focus and you can use that in combination with other actions to create a pretty cool shortcut and if you use music recognition a lot from the control center here or if you just ask Siri what certain songs are and your phone has to listen for those songs if you go into your battery section here and then under here by battery usage it will actually show that you used music recognition so it's now broken down under battery usage along with all of your applications the app library bug has also been fixed so before in beta 1 and also in iOS 16.0 sometimes when you would tap right here to go to the app library and you'd search for something or if you just hit cancel the app library would go like way up here and it would be cut off at the top of the screen and then also sometimes when you left the library and you went over it would stay in the background it would like kind of be on your home page as you started scrolling over and you would just see like your whole app library along with your page of apps right there and it was very distracting and very annoying but that has been fixed here I was not able to reproduce that in beta 2. one of the big features in beta 1 is if we went to our settings battery battery health and charging at the bottom there we have clean energy charging so I was not able to see how this worked properly and how it displayed on your device but here is a pop-up from somebody on reddit where it shows clean energy charging and it shows when your phone is scheduled to finish charging so it's very similar to optimized battery charging so i'm still doing some testing out to see which one is better to have on or if you should just have both or none on at all so i will let you guys know in my final 16.1 review what I've kind of come to the conclusion of. Now, as far as bugs go, one of the most popular bugs that really made headlines this past week was the camera rattling bug for the iPhone 14 Pro series. So if you have a 14 Pro or Pro Max, you may very well have experienced your camera like rattling or vibrating at some point in a third-party application. So my experience with this was that it happened to me in Snapchat the very first time I you know, used my iPhone 14 Pro. It didn't happen on the Pro Max for whatever reason, but on my 14 Pro, when I first started using Snapchat, it would do that random vibration, you know, that random rattling on the camera. So I just closed out of it. I closed out of the application and went back in and it stopped and it never happened again. So it happened to me on launch day on the 14 Pro, but it never happened again. So I've not been able to reproduce that here in this beta. However, I would assume that it is not fixed with beta two. And the reason I say that is because Apple said that a new public software release is coming next week to address this issue. So my thinking is that they haven't even fixed this themselves just yet they know what the issue is but they're probably still working on a resolution for that and they're getting it ready for a release next week to the public so i would assume that in beta 3 that camera rattling bug will be fixed for the 14 pro and pro max but as far as any other bugs go most of the bugs that i had in beta 1 have been fixed right here in beta 2 like the copy and paste bug the gps bug some of the other random bugs with the app library and you know moving around in folders just random things like that they've all been fixed in beta 2. and then taking a look at the release notes you can see we have three resolved issues for home but we do still have six known issues that are waiting to be fixed along with that we have a known issue related to memory allocation and i'm not too sure exactly what that is about but you might notice a minor decrease in maybe app switching maybe you know ram management things like that we could see a decrease until that gets fixed i'm not too sure on that and then we do have a resolved bug related to store kit ad network and then as far as the performance goes performance so far feels about the same as it did in beta 1 but the performance in beta 1 was a good bit better than it was on 16.0 to me so i would assume that beta 2 will improve on that a little bit now i am running my very first benchmark on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So it will be interesting to see what we score here on this beta. So we got an 1862 on the single core and a 5362 on the multi-core. So pretty respectable scores there. We're gonna see how future betas compare to this because I will save it and compare it in future videos. Now, as far as battery life goes, it's too early to tell if battery life is any better or worse than it was in beta one, especially because I've been using this device for only a week. So I will let you guys know in my latest Apple Weekly episode, which is coming on a Saturday, I will let you guys know how the battery life is in this second beta and how it compares to previous versions and then finally let's talk about what to expect next so next up is going to be ios 16.1 beta 3 and that should be coming next week so probably on the 27th or the 28th is when we should see that next beta 
for you beta testers. Now, as far as public releases, Apple did mention that they will be pushing out a software update next week to fix the camera rattling issue for the iPhone 14 series. So that should be iOS 16.0.2. And I would assume that would come out pretty early, probably on Monday or Tuesday would be my guess for that. Now, I don't know for sure if this is going to be an iPhone 14 Pro only update or if it's going to be an update for all devices, not just the 14 series. That has yet to be determined, but we should see a public release next week along with a 16.1 beta 3. And then as far as the final public release of iOS 16.1, that is coming in mid to late October. So next month, we can expect to see 16.1 roll out for everybody. So there you have it. That is iOS 16.1 beta 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sure there are other things in the software that i just have not discovered yet and that's what i make my apple weekly series for where i can tell you guys about more new features and changes found in these software updates so stay tuned for that that is coming on saturday but of course if you guys enjoyed this video i would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe for a lot more ios 16 and iphone 14 coverage but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon